Ladies and gentlemen, do I have some fantastic sex tips for you today. I'm here with the intimacy angel, Celine Remy, and we are going to go over a multi-part series for you guys, where each week we're going to be dropping the male and female perspectives on your most asked bedroom questions. So, uh, Celine, maybe give you give my viewers a brief introduction to yourself. Absolutely. I am Celine Remy and I'm a certified sexological body worker. My whole mission is to help you find your sexy, bring your sexy back in life and just uplift your bedroom. Fantastic. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, guys, in today's video, we are going to compare some notes on the best sex positions to get your partner off the, well, the best the best sex positions for his and her pleasure from a man and a woman's perspective Celine, i'm very curious I, i've got my my top two my uh my my all stars my hall of fame positions that i that i always my i always go to my go-to guys i want to hear your perspective on the positions that you personally think are the most enjoyable for women and for men Let's start with understanding of anatomy is we are all different. So there's not going to be a position that works for everyone. It's also how do your genitals fit together? So depending on the size of his penis and the size of her vagina, like there are going to be things that work better. So just because it works really well on your ex-girlfriend doesn't mean it's going to work really well on this one, right? So understand that from the start. Also understand that we women, if she's still going through her menstrual cycle, we go through uh, changes that our cervix goes higher and lower depending on how fertile we are. That means that when the cervix hits is higher inside the um, vaginal canal, she can take a deeper penetration and more pounding in different position than if her cervix is lower, which means that it would, it would your penis would reach it faster and she might not want like a really deep position like a doggy style at that point so mm. you've got to understand her cycle where she's at and understand your anatomy and her anatomy now i'll tell you my favorite positions <laughs> and we'll see if they're yours too uh, All right. as yeah. the ones you thought um and you know what i've noticed is it changes over time i really like being on top because it gives me total freedom. I can ride him. I can move my hips. I can access my own clitoris. And I don't have his weight so much on me. So I feel very free with that. And I can move down towards him and hug him and have this beautiful like heart to heart connection. Or I can arch back and that reaches deeper and allows me to have a different sensations. Plus there's a whole thing of like, you know, going around the cock, right? and just going all around in different angles when I'm on top. So it's a pretty versatile position that I rather enjoy. All right. I like that. I, look, I, that was, I'm going to agree with you on that one because that's one of my go-to, like one of my go-tos for like her. getting, if I want to get a woman off, mm -hmm. I will put her in cowgirl position like that, like you said. And I'll do two things specifically, really specifically. Ooh. I, and this, this probably, play, like you said, how, you know, Guy and girl parts have to sort of fit and match because everyone's anatomy is a little bit different. This for me, this this works really well for me because my penis points upward like yeah. when it's erect, right? So I've got I've got an upward point. It doesn't point straight out; it points up, right? So for guys who have a have a you know an erection that points up, this will play in your favor. Uh, when she's in cowgirl, rather than there's two things I'll tell her to do. One, I'll tell her to actually kind of lean lean back a little bit, right? Put her put her hands on my legs and maybe. Like, lean back at an you know so rather than her sitting up straight like that she's sitting back at an angle slightly like that right the second thing i'll do is i'll grab onto her thighs and rather than having her doing an up and down motion i'm going to do a forwards and backwards motion whole i'm controlling her i'm holding onto her thighs like that and i'm doing this in a, in a pretty vigorous fashion while she's sort of leaned back like that kind of like so you're, you're, like, you're tapping from the bottom yeah, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is really, that's the key too, because while she's on top and can think she's in charge, really, you're still the one topping from the bottom. Yeah, I'm always in charge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with this? But imagine, it, it, the analogy is like, imagine you're panning for gold, gentlemen. So this is kind of like the hand motion, like you're panning for gold, okay? <laughs> so you've got your hands on their thighs and you're doing this back and forth thing. And you, 
if I, and because the, the way this works, the anatomy, right? So she's one. She, so she's like leaning back, mm -hmm. and because because of that, it it creates the the head of my penis is going to be slamming into her G spot, basically, again and again and again, like that, quite quite vigorously, quite repeatedly, quite quickly. So you can within within a few minutes for the mo this just takes a bit of forearm strength. I'm not going to lie. You, you can't be you can't be a bit uh, um, you can't be lazy with this. But this actually. <laughs> To actually get a woman off for, with a penetrative orgasm like that, you're going to need a bit of force. And this is, again, topping from the bottom. It's kind of an overwhelming experience for her. She, You can get her on top, let her let her have some fun, let her think she's in control for a few minutes. And then then you can go panning for gold. And you can uh, you can really, you can really deliver an, a very a pretty quick orgasm if you if you get your angles right and you do it with enough force and speed that she doesn't really sort of see it. She doesn't have time to get in her head. You don't have time to get in her head mm -hmm. and be like, it's like overwhelming, like sensation. Bang, you get her. And that's 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 my number one. I'm gonna, I've got a couple more up my sleeve though, so I want to see. I want to hear more of your opinions. Okay, my uh, my other top position would be doggy style. Uh, doggy style is so primal and can make me foam. It's like so. Like you can really let go in that position, but I'm not in the mood for it at all times. Uh, but I would say that doggy style is a really pleasurable. Uh, also, again, you have access to your clit. It's kind of a sure thing to have really strong orgasms, and it doesn't have to be totally wild and pounding. There's even like a gentle like doggy mm. style. Like you don't have to to have it. But I think also doggy style is a really good one for men's pleasure because it's so primal, it's so like raw, and you can grab her ass and do her. You have a fucking awesome view, and you can like if she's open, you can really pound her, and it's so animalistic. Like it's all of that. That, like prime urges that can be freed through that position and i think it works really well both for the male and for the female i agree uh i, I make one little adjustment to doggy style and I, I, you can kind of call it like a lazy doggy some people call it froggy style or prone bone and what i, I like to do is rather than having her like on her hands and knees have her lay flat on her mm -hmm. stomach like that and penetrate that way in so like effectively still the same kind of doggy style position but there's a little a little adjustment that women can make that makes it feel amazing for the guy and it's this so you're laying so she's laying flat like that and you're penetrating in a you know same the same way you would doggy style right but she's laying flat enter her and then gentlemen get her to cross her legs over get her get her to cross her heels over it'll make the the vagina feel so much tighter for both you and her you'll both notice it like immediately you just get her to cross her legs over like that whilst after you're inside of her you'll notice it immediately and that is a like i agree that's a really good position to get you can do that slowly and passionately or you can do it more more rough and like you said animalistically you can you can do so much in that position too you can whisper in her ear you can pull her hair mm -hmm. you can wipe the nape of her neck or you can there's there's all you can spank it and, <laughs> different things and 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 like elements you can play around with in that one position which makes it really effective for, and and enjoyable for both the guy and the girl in my opinion she can also reach his balls and yeah. so one of the things like what I like is kind of halfway. So my chest is down and then I stick my butt up. So it's kind of an in-between. Mm -hmm. uh, it works really well for me for my angle and how it works. Uh, so, but at the same time, it's, I, I can totally relax because I'm not having my weight on my arms. It's all kind of on my chest and I can like have my head in the pillow if I'm screaming or if I want to relax. But then with the other hand, you can reach down in between and you can massage his balls or even like... Like if your arm is long enough, you can kind of like be around his anus, like just add some sensations there. And that's sometimes unexpected and mm. oftentimes very welcome. Yeah, the surprise, the surprise element of that is like <laughs> yes. the, the woman does that of her own accord. And she's surprised like, damn, that came out. You, you got me. You got uh -huh. <laughs> came out of nowhere. And <laughs> that's like, I, I, I am all about the testicle simulation. I 100% agree that like, yeah, you have to get your hips up a little bit so you can get your hand under there. Yes. But that little bit of stimulation while while a guy is like well going away at that it's like damn if, if a woman if, I normally will tell a woman to do that but if she does that over in a court I'm like ah ah you, <laughs> you've been watching Celine's channel. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, <laughs> we're doing a good thing. We Got are like, changing the world one cog at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to add in a bonus, uh, an extra bonus position here, which I think help really. It's an like adjustment, a slight adjustment to missionary position that most people can make, which again tends to to lead to a, a more successful, like tends to, in my experience, get vaginal orgasms more successfully. And it's and it's as simple as sliding a couple of pillows under her pelvis, mm -hmm. getting her, her hips up like that, because it changes the angle of penetration. Because rather than, you know, you, you're, you're penetrating like this, normally if she's laying down flat, once those once that pillow is raised, raising her hips up like at an angle like that, now I'm penetrating like this and I'm actually hitting the G spot. Much yeah, more especially because you're pointing up. Um, and so that works really well with that. Or you can have her put her legs over your shoulder too and that kind of, but she has to be a little bit more flexible for that to happen, but that creates the same thing. It could exactly. be one leg or both legs. Uh, and that again creates that really nice angle where as a woman, for me, it's, um, it doesn't really hit the cervix. Like it doesn't doesn't hurt but yet you can use a lot of force with it because uh, there are some positions sometimes where it's a little too deep too quickly where it you tense up but with that with the pelvis angle that's slightly different you usually don't hit the wall and so you can go like for longer <laughs> <laughs> you can get a bit more into it <laughs> exactly yeah. that is that's that's something that i think a lot of guys don't realize if they can you know, if, if maybe they're genetically gifted, they've got a, a kind of a longer appendage, or maybe they just get the angles right. You can actually like not. There's a small subset of women who do like, uh, like having their cervix kind of like stimulated, like a hit with the penis like that. But it's, it's a, in my experience, it's a small subset. Like you said, it's very it, for most women, it's kind of a more painful uh, experience to hit the cervix like that. So that being aware of like your of your angles is kind of important. That's the game you're playing really as a guy when you're if you're aware of okay which way does my penis point mm -hmm. <laughs> now yeah. now i know that and i know the aim is to sort of can i hit the g spot as best i can then we can start to play around with the different angles that we're using and i know if it's going to if it's going to be effective or not yeah you know with the cervix it's um uh, the cervix hates to be banged as the first thing the cervix likes to be slowly teased and what the cervix likes is not so much a thrusting of in and out it's more of a circles it's more of a like kind of circling going around slowly opening it and then she can get to that place where she's like bang me and can't get enough uh, but if you go straight to banging it again it will close down and if it gets hurt then she won't want it there's something that happens so we have to tease it you have to approach it you have to do circles gyration like so her using her hips or him using his hips if he's on top and can do like hip circles um, that's going to work to help the circle to feel safe really ultimately it's kind of like all about feeling that place of like it's kind of it's the heart point in that reflexology within the vagina so it's kind of like until she feels like so totally safe and that she can fully open and her heart is in there and then it can happen all right so don't scare the cervix gentlemen no don't <laughs> <laughs> um I think these would be like really, I love a good missionary too. I really do. And I think people are just blasé about it or they're like, oh, it's not like, I don't know why people are like, oh, it's like kind of the boring one. But like, honestly, if you know what you're doing and you know how to use your hips and you have a good yeah. tempo and, you know, you can look into your partner's eyes, it's a great, great position. Yeah, you can make you can make missionary re really intense and passionate if you yeah. like you know what you're doing like you can you can you can whisper you can stare in the eyes you can put you can pull her hair from from that position if she's into being choked you can apply some you can apply some like pressure around the throat there's a lot of different things you can play with the nipples like there's a lot you can play with the clitoris as well there's a whole bunch of things you, different things you can do to it's not just i'm just like plain or boring <laughs> and blanket laying on top of her there's a lot more and that's another thing i'll say it's probably it's kind of makes it more passionate and more i think it makes it more intense if there's space between you mm. other than as a dude just you're being lazy just laying on top of her create that space hold yourself up with your hands of and, course you know, yeah. so you can make that eye contact during that missionary because that makes it a lot more passionate and a lot more intimate mm -hmm. 
You know, one thing we haven't talked about, a lot of guys are pointing sideways. A lot of penises are like that. Um, I do find that side positions work really well with sideway pointing penises. And so you could do like a kind of rear sideway, like little spoon, big spoon. So she's little spoon and he's big spoon. That works really well with guys who have uh, either a bigger penis and that way he can go deeper, but it's not hurting her. He's not bottoming really. And then if he goes sideways, if his penis is sideway and you're in the right uh, position, it actually can hit her G spot as well from that angle. Mm. There you go, gentlemen. If you if you happen to be genetically get blessed, <laughs> that is that is your cheat code. Right there. <laughs> but you know, I think also one thing is I don't think there's like one position that works all the time. I've seen this too, even with um, in my own relationship. Like for several years, I was like all about one position, and then it. I kind of maybe got used to it or something and now it's a different mm -hmm. one and then you go through phases and you come back to it so go also with the flow and honestly if you want more sex give her the kind she likes listen to what she wants give her the position she wants and you'll get more sex pay attention to that lunch <laughs>